Hello and welcome to the first of several Microsoft Access for the Accountant training videos. My name is Josh Hunt and I'm a financial analyst based out of Columbia, South Carolina. Um, what I'm going to do with virtually all of my videos is have a problem or a project to complete that I think would be beneficial to most accountants out there um, or at least beneficial at some point in your career. Um, what we have in front of us today is a fairly simple problem. Now, not all of my problems and projects are going to be this simple, but this is going to be a fairly short video showing you how to convert a crosstab view to a flat file view. You probably, if you've used Access a good bit, you've probably made crosstab queries from a flat file view several times. But what if somebody, what if, and this is what happened with me, I was working in, in a prior position and I needed to enter budget data into a budget system um, as a in a journal entry type format um, from somebody in a different department so they sent the data over and it was in this view and uh, I could have gone back and asked them well, okay can you send it in a different view uh, whatever you made the cross tab from for, for example um, but I didn't do that I, well, I was able to simply convert it myself um, and this is how I did it. Uh, let's uh, backing up for a second. When I say flat file view, um, I mean this. I mean that's what I mean. This is how you upload data into an accounting system, normally journal entries, etc. So um, you might have year here too. I mean it's. Uh, but you know you get the you get the point. So let's delete that. So let's go to access. Um, whoop, we already got it up. Kind of still on the show here, but <laughs> external data. Go to Excel. Uh, cross that view. Okay, there it is. So there it is in Access in a cross tab view. That's fairly simple. <clears throat> so now let's create the, the query. I'm only going to do this for the first three months because I think you, you, you'll get the point. I don't need to go all the way through December. So let's view it in SQL. So what I'm going to do is use the union all statement here. And union queries, as we'll learn in future videos, are very, very helpful for accountants. You wouldn't think, and, and, and basically what a union query does is it simply puts one table or query on top of the other. Um, so union all, this, right, this statement right here by itself will be putting on the the query on top of itself in other words you wouldn't think that would be that useful but when you can group data and you can um, you know add columns it becomes very useful as you'll see in future videos but so what we need to do is we need to get rid of this and I'll explain this in a second but what we're going to say is this is going to be the field name amount and then we're just going to call this one as month and then we already have January now so we're just going to delete that we have February there we don't need March and, and you'll sort of get the what I'm doing when I run it I think a little better but So let's run this and see what happens. Oh, I forgot to put. Um, let's see. You gotta. Put, I gotta put the month down. Yeah, that would be helpful. <laughs> and now you see we have the flat file uh, format that we're after. 
So we could upload this into an accounting system. Now, you know, we could, you know, if this is a, we could add the budget year here fairly easily, but that's uh, the point of this was to show you how to go from cross tab to flat. So that's what we did. Um, we'll see you in the next video.